Your strategies are so good. Do you think you are going to be a billionaire? Nope, I am not going to be a billionaire. So this is another thing that is a very common misconception. When you see people posting their performance online, sometimes it can give you the impression that they should be much wealthier than they are, right? You, you look at the results. This is my portfolio and this is live, right? This, the, all of these trades went out to the VTS community for nine years straight. A lot of people look at this and they think, well, I mean, shouldn't you be a mega millionaire by now? I mean, this is good results. You've been making 20% a year for nine years straight. Shouldn't you be, well, just run the numbers yourself, right? I mean, I used to be a professional golfer and not a very successful one. I mean, I, I was a good golfer. I almost made it on the PGA Tour. But I mean, my peak world ranking in golf was something like, you know, 690 or something. So... I mean, I was good. I, I I had a successful career, but no, I, I didn't succeed in my golf career. So I started my investment career with a totally normal amount of money, just like everybody does. And I I work and I try to make profit. And I, I've done very well the last nine years. I've made my 20% a year. And I, I hopefully plan to continue that, especially with the, the leverage strategies and the you know, the, the overlay of the vol trend, there are ways I can continue making 20%, but just run the numbers. I mean, if you start with a modest amount of capital and you make 20% a year, and let's say you add a little bit because I do have a job and I do make a good income, it still doesn't add up to the numbers that people have in their head. Um, it takes time. It takes a lot of time to develop that kind of money. So no, I'm not, forget about billionaire. I'm not going to be a, you know, go way down, drop two zeros off that. I'm not going to be that. Um, no, money doesn't scale that way. So don't look at people's results online and their claims on Twitter about how they're rolling in wealth and actually take it seriously. It's not. It's Money doesn't scale that way. Just go into a compound interest calculator and you'll see time is the factor that matters the most. So um, that's how I would answer that one. One should temper the expectations because it could reverse at any time. Absolutely. Um, I'm, I'm a huge proponent of this. I am always trying to dial back people's expectations because this is the real world. Now, unfortunately, in 2021, maybe starting from 2010 to now, the investment world is colliding with the social media world. And it's giving people these insane expectations of results when I'm telling you, like, I'm not rude. I'm not insulting them. 99% of those claims are completely made up, absolutely made up. Those people who are saying that they are millionaires trading, they work the same mundane jobs that the rest of us do. They, they're not what they say they are. But social media is giving people these insane expectations of... Do you know how good a 10% rate of return is in the investment world? I mean, if you were an asset manager and you made 10% return, not every year, but averaged out, you know, your compound annual growth rate, 10% a year for 30 years, you are easily in the top 5% of all asset managers in the world. That is substantial. That is really, really good returns. Well, I mean, spend five minutes on social media, you're going to feel like a complete loser if you make 10% return. So, I mean, that's the difference. None of that stuff is real. Um, you know, not to toot my own horn too much, but what I've achieved in the last nine years is, I mean, if it wasn't for social media, it would be pretty impressive. I mean, obviously in a sea of liars, I, I feel I appear to be an underachiever, but boy, I'll tell you, I am not even the slightest bit disappointed in my, my returns. So, um, Absolutely, very good point. Always keep realistic expectations. Um, and and get, get to your realistic expectations and then cut those in half again. That's what you want to do because that's the reality of the world we live in. Inflation is, you know, if you trust the official numbers, 1%. If you trust your gut and your eyes and your, your, your checkbook, it's probably close to 4 or 5%. But there's no free money in this world. It's hard to beat inflation. You actually have to have a little bit of knowledge to beat the inflation rate with your investments. So, you know, take inflation and add 
5% to that, you're killing it, right? Add 10% to that, you're you're doing well. So yeah, um, new gene or new gene, sorry about that if it's mispronounced wrong. It says hedge funds only best three to 4% per year. Absolutely right. I mean, look at this. We, um, we've got hedge fund indexes. I might have to log into this, so apologies for that. Might take me a few seconds. But yeah, I mean, you can look at, at the hedge fund indices and you can see, I mean, these hedge fund managers, a lot of people, and this is one of the things that bothers me. I might go on a little bit of a rant here. Feel free to log off if you don't like hearing me rant. But a lot of people out there, they really like to hack on hedge fund managers and hack on financial advisors. And, and they, they like to talk about how these guys are losers and they don't, they don't make any money. They can only make 4% a year. And Asset managers, 85% of them underperform their benchmarks. It's very easy to, to laugh at these people, but I can assure you that they're not dummies. I mean, these are, these are some of the smartest, most educated, sophisticated investors in the world. And they're having a difficult time when they have to show performance. They have a difficult time producing results at 10% a year. You have to be really good at your job to get 10% a year. And so a lot of people look at that and they say, oh, they're such losers. Well, no, they're not. It's just that everybody you're following on social media who says that they make 20 or 30% a year, those people are lying. These people, the hedge fund index, they actually have to report stuff and they actually have a little bit on the line to report it accurately, right? So you look at these numbers, not good. Uh, Three-year annualized, 5.5. Five-year annualized, 10-year annualized, 4.18. Guys, these are some of the smartest people in the world making 4.18% return annualized. You think that person you follow on Twitter that's never published a word in the investment industry in their life, you think their claims are accurate, but these people who have dedicated their entire lives to investing, that these are the dummies? I'm, I mean, sorry about the rant, but... I think there's far too little respect for how difficult it is to make a good rate of return. And social media is not making our job any easier to communicate this message. My job gets harder every single year. With every new person who shows up on Twitter making outlandish claims, my job just got harder. Now there's gonna be an, another thousand people that I have to convince that that is not accurate, that the reality is doubling the inflation rate, that's good. You're doing well if you can do that. If you can make 10% a year, you're crushing it. Just have a good job, save your money, invest in your account, it'll grow. And again, with time, time being the most important element, you're going to you're going to crush it. But if you start thinking that you know you're inadequate cuz you're making 25% a year, you're going to do stupid things, you're going to lose a lot of money and you're going to lose 10 years of your investing timeline because you followed social media. That is not accurate. Those those claims are not true. So realistic expectations. I spend an enormous amount of time explaining this to people. And, you know, the gut reaction for a lot of them is don't listen to me. Go back on social media. Trust the confirmation bias. Go out there and look for it. You'll find plenty of people who claim that they make far more than I do. Good luck. Thank you so much for watching the video. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel and go check out my website right here. There's tons of articles and videos on there, as well as a free trial to join the VTS investing community. What have you got to lose? Come see how I personally navigate these unruly markets. See you next time.